Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Children of Morta. We have a bit of dialogue here. Never before had the Bergson seen, nor had they heard, such a vast trove of myth and legends. They were so mesmerized by Apon's storytelling that they spent the whole night transfixed as her audience. Okay, I, I thought there might be a little bit more than that, but, you know, that's still fun, too. Um, so I don't know where we need to go. It's We have an objective to go to Baharat to find some medicine for Mary. I don't know if we're going to be able to go to the next zone unless we do that quest. But let's, let's see. No, we have to continue along this path before we can leave. Uh, this area. So we're gonna do that and then we'll go to Keldipo Caves uh, maybe at some point, but we need to find stones for Uncle Ben, find a cure for Mary. The beauty of the ancient ruins oh, there's another is zone. still evident through the decay brought on by time and sand. But once humble living quarters were now slums the muck of the corruption. I didn't expect this. I I expected each zone to end with freeing the, the guardian spirit, but just having another quest in the zone is interesting. Okay, so we have a third zone to go to. Let's do it. And I think it's about time to bring Lucy out. It's been a while. I think Joey can just like go die in a fire. Uh, let's see what Lucy can do again. We brought her out once before, but I want to get her leveled up so that hopefully we can, you know, be more productive with her. Alu Bear says, how is this game similar to Diablo 2? It's like, it's a similar action RPG style of combat and clicking on things that you will see in a moment, Balu Bear. It, it has really made me want to play uh, Diablo 2 though, at some point, because uh, especially Lucy, I want to be a, I want to be a freaking pyromancer wizard, sorceress lady. I also forgot how this character plays. There's a lot, admittedly, there's a lot less loot collection in uh, Children of Morda. You don't have to worry about picking up every single, like, hat that you find and comparing it to that, the stats of your hat. <laughs> Which is kind of a, ben of a benefit. I like not having just an insane amount of loot collection. That was always one of the most annoying parts about uh, a game like Diablo, having to constantly, constantly, constantly be trying to, like, collect better loot. Hello. Hmm, a tornado it needs to pull the enemies in just a little bit more. But I also just need Lucy to level up. I need Lucy. I need Lucy's dash to not cancel her rate of fire. That would be like perfect. I do have one skill point. I have to imagine that I need another skill point bef uh, before I can do anything else with it, though. Unless I am. No, yeah, I, I need two skill points. I need two skill points before I can do anything else. I just, I, whoa, what? I do love that she just yells as she, what the heck, dude? Oh, thanks for the armor. I didn't see the trap on the ground. I love that she yells. <laughs> I just love the yelling for some reason. Easy. Oh, and a gemstone, how oh, hell yeah. I like, like these mummies too. They're very uh, easy to kill as Lucy. They seem to get stunned by everything, which is a blessing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there goes my orb. Hope you can level up soon, lady. Girl, girl. I like the decoy too. Decoy is very handy. Where are we? We just found snakes. I hate snakes. Try spamming the tornadoes. I guess we could spam them. We can we can probably cast a couple at once. I don't know how good that is because you have to still wait for your mana to recharge before you can cast more tornadoes. But, you know, they can at least 
you know, sometimes do some some damage on their own. I mean, I think we did kill a couple of snakes. But I also I also want to be able to use my my mana energy for uh, for the decoy. Because that seems like a very big component of this character's playstyle is being able to decoy all the enemies and then just spam your attacks. What the heck are you? You're like a weird little turtle. Highly unusual. I did not expect there to be turtles here. Good lord. Think I can kill this thing in time? I can get real freaking close. I can get closer than I would have expected. I do have a rage charged up. This is not worth rage, though. I'm curious why these guys didn't die, though. Hmm. What's the fiery bar next to the avatar? That is the rage o meter. Which, for this character, makes me become, like, an immortal god of, of destruction and then kill everything. With a laser beam from my head. <laughs> Cyclone pulls in enemies more forcefully. That's what I want just as, like, a default thing on my Cyclone ability. I don't want a rune that's, pass that's temporary. I just want my Cyclone to be so much better. That sounds bloody perfect. But... It pulling in the enemies more forcefully is just beautiful. I will take it. Sidewinders have a chance to chain between multiple enemies on impact. That also seems kinda kinda cool. So we're gonna start with the tornado, which didn't do anything. We'll chain some sidewinders. That's kind of a nice little chain lightning effect. Primary attack explodes, damaging nearby enemies. Eh, we'll just keep this rune for the time being. You're awful. I don't even know what you are. I can't even see you. You're hiding. You're hiding from me. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> just crits. I'll take the crits. I'll take my rage potion, which we should means we should probably just use it, but at the same time, I don't really want to. Are we gonna play Pong? I think we're gonna play some Pong. You guys ready for Pong? <laughs> Got him. This is one of those situations where having this like stereo audio is really weird because it's only coming out of one earpiece right now with this uh, like Pong machine. It just sounds strange. Like I don't I don't need to know that it's on the right side. I can see. Got it. I got a rune out of it. Man, I hate getting these runes. Kevin emerges from the shadows to strike those attacking the decoy. That seems kind of nice, though. I think we have some good runes. I just hate that they're passives. I, I, it would be cool if they were at, like, permanent. Oh, sorry, I don't mean passives. It sucks that they're temporary. It would be cool if they were a little bit more permanent. And if they were permanent, then you, you could just, like, you know, try to make a build with these. Because there's only a, a few different items in the game, right? We should level up. What am I doing? You know, there's um, there's the items that we can p collect to activize items in the passives, but there doesn't seem to be too many of them. Having runes would allow you to have a lot more variability, I feel. Okay. Enemies have a chance of exploding into fire. Increases the chance of the chance and damage of the side wind side winders. Um, make the rage better, make the decoy last longer, the cyclone can be better, the protective wards can have more orbs. I think we'll go for that one. Now we can get a, uh, a second protective orb, which will save us a lot of damage in the long run, I feel. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for helping out your... He's flipped! 
He flipped upside down and then exploded. What the hell? I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for our, our makeshift. Uh, Super Space Turtle here. Man, I am loving this, uh, this better sucking power. Oh, crap. It is helping a lot. Wow, it even has enough power to suck in the elites. That's insane. That is really nice. <laughs> Trickster, kill an elite with a uh, with a trap. I got an achievement for that one. Thank you, Kevin. That was good. That was good. Really? Well, it gets sucked in, I guess. They can almost make it out, but not quite. Not quite. Okay, I have three. I will spend one gemstone to open this up to get an item. Greatly increased critical hit chance, constant drain of health. Uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna pick it up because I don't like the idea of constantly losing my health. It seems like I need that to live. If you ask me, that seems like something you need to live. So, I'm just gonna keep it. So armor and occasionally occasionally negating damage. Little, little helper there. We've seen this uh, familiar multiple times, and I think we're just gonna leave. I know that there's like one rune we can go pick up, but whatever. I really should just use this um, this rage ult at some point. We should use it on the next elite enemy that we find. There's no reason to be holding on to it for this long. Ruins of old Baharut, two of two. So this is the last level of this area. Overgrown with trees and vegetation as it is. Pew, 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 pew. No, 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 no. On destruction, decoy slows nearby enemies. We don't really need it to slow. I do like the money, though. It's a lot of money. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. If Kevin is here helping me, why can't you just be here all the time, hitting my enemies? It would be of a great benefit to your sister Lucy. <laughs> I love it. I love that tornado. I, I really do wish that it just sucked enemies in that uh, that heavily innately. But alas, it does not. Oh well. Get out of them. Get out of the way. It's another turtle. This turtle does not get stunned, but he did hit a tree and then stop moving. So good for him. She flaunted her wings, begging to be chased. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this again. Catch her before she disappears. Also, look for all of these annoying, hurtful, harmful enemies. Good God. Further, she fled. That is true. Okay, more elites. It's this way. More elites. Lovely. Do not linger. I'm trying not to, okay? These, this challenge is absurdly easy. It it's just, it's so tempting to hang out and kill all these enemies and get more like stats. <laughs> I don't think we need the stats, but then again, just having the, uh, having the extra like gold would be nice. Cause like there's a lot of elites to kill. I am also like raged up, ready to go. You know what? I have 200 armor. I think we're okay. No, 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 that's a freaking wall, dude. I think 
we can stay out, hang out a little bit here. There are two elites that I'm having to run my way around, but it's okay. I'm just gonna hang out in this trap for a minute, don't mind me. Almost killed one of those elite. One of those elite bastards. There we go, and we leveled up, and we got so much money out of this, too. Look at all this cash. I mean, that was like 500 bucks. <laughs> so it definitely feels worth it, especially if we uh, are, you know, not taking a lot of damage. Mighty Odin asks, What's, what do the eggs do? Yeah, I believe it's just skill point resets or um, corruption healing. I actually forget which one, because like in the uh, in the UI it says it's corruption healing, but I think it might also be skill point resets. Like it, it does double duty, but I've n I haven't seen a button for skill point reset. Like as far as I know, there's no button that's like click this to reset your skills. I assume it exists somewhere. I just I just don't know where it is. We lost our rune. That was the last one that we we're gonna get out of those super cyclones, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sorry, Salamander. Okay. Yeah, let's just stand in front of that trap and get hit. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't expect it to hit me, honestly. I hate to say it, but I didn't. Oh crap. I'm getting hit by the laser. I just wanted to like stay in there for a moment and just do a little bit of extra damage. If this is just the laser elite, I think we can kill him before we get hit by the lasers again. I got hit by him. I thought I honestly would have had a, uh, a protective aura around me, but that's okay. Whatever. Oh, hello. Man, I really want to upgrade that again, but that's going to cost me like another skill point. It's going to cost me, cost me like another three, I guess. It's a lot of skill points, but it would be a really good ability to have upgraded again. I need to figure out this um, decoy into using the tornado, because I always place the tornado where it's not gonna hit any of the enemies, it seems like. Come on, come on! No, 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 get that, get that thing away from me. It's like highly rude. I just stood right on that trap, but at least I got a little bit of, uh, of armor out of that for free. Very unusual, but nice ability to have. Thank you, um, lady from the north, I forgot your name already, but it's not simple. <laughs> Whatever your name was, it wasn't as simple as Mary, or Lucy, or John. This is a nice little area here. I like that, like, even within acts, there's different environments. You know, you can tell that the layout is roughly the same, but it has a lot of differences between, uh, between areas. Like, it's not just the same uh, corridors. This one has all of this vegetation overgrowing everywhere. Come on, come on. Oh yes, oh come on, it's almost dead, there we go.
There we go. Kill the blobs, let them explode. Lucy seems to be doing a pretty good job as of late. I don't know if I'm just wrapping my head around how to play here, which is just, I don't know, left click. Or I'm actually like getting more of her abilities unlocked. You know, we picked up the, the decoy and we've leveled up a couple of things. But now everything just seems to be flowing a little bit better. I mean, we have these orbs, a second level of orbs too, so we can, you know, avoid two hits if we get hit, which is useful to have. What do you do? Oh, you're just, you're that enemy, okay. I thought you were someone else for a minute there. Red Elite. I'm not noticing any missiles coming down. Do you think that that would be happening with a Red Elite? But for now, if you just wanna stay there and get shot, I am A-OK -okay with this, friend. <laughs> that was insanely easy, thank you. More runes, Jesus. This is, this is a little bit of what I don't get, of why there's so many runes. Like, before we unlocked runes, the chests were dropping items on occasion. Now we're getting absolutely nothing. We're only getting runes and runes and runes and more runes, but you can only hold one of each. I would much prefer it if there was actually just like, some more items coming out of chests, but obviously I would like that. Okay, you're a weird explosion AOE orb elite. I kind of don't like you. Oh, hey, look, another rune, who would have thought? John's Heaven Strike casts when the cyclone ends. I don't know, I, I guess we should take it. Lots of potions though, lots of health potions. No active items yet? Yeah, no active items. Only one passive that's just like purely defensive. Then again, you know, this game, it's not really about the items. It's all about the skills and the characters. You know, you're not gonna find yourself in a situation where you're wanting to pick up uh, you know, items and synergies and whatnot. You're mostly in situations where you just wanna get XP and upgrade your skills. That's how you get better. It's interesting. It's a nice take. Okay. Well, we finished the zone and we got only money out of it. We do have five grand, but I kinda wish we had some items. Maybe you can't get items from that. I, I imagine you, you could. Not from item rooms, but from like random drops. I think we just got unlucky. Did pick up a bunch of gemstones though, so we can at least get items from chests and you know, buy items from shops if we find a shop. Clunk, clunk. I guess we'll go kill you. Give me a second. Pew, pew, pew. Disposable account welcome, how's it going? Finally decided to to grace us with your presence. Hope you're having a great evening. I do love the cyclone though. It's doing a lot of damage when I can't. And I appreciate that cyclone, I do. I gotta put the cyclone like right on the decoy. I think that's what I'm getting wrong. Putting the cyclone like behind the decoy doesn't seem to work. Well, took a couple of hits, that's fine. We, there's plenty of health around. Although I think a lot of that health was inside the zone we can no longer access, but oh well. I think we'll be fine. We're also le almost leveled up again, which is gonna be nice. I don't think we can access any new ability, but we should be able to just upgrade one of the abilities that we have. Deal double damage when your health is low. Sure. I'd rather not be at low health, but if we can't avoid it, we can't avoid it. And Lespoff, welcome. How you doing?
Sorry, you cute little salamander. Okay, we have a couple of points. We can put it into Rage Duration, Incendiary Shot, Enemies have a chance to explode. Increase the chance and damage of the sidewinders. Or we can we can spend two points into one of these, and then the next point we get can go into like dust storm, rapid combustion, or beam amplify. Better rage damage. Uh rage damage. Criticals have a chance to summon a cyclone. That seems really cool. I am going to put points into explosive shots. That way we unlock this ability right now. All fami family members are reinforced. Lucy appearing to summon a decoy upon evading at just the right moment, three minute cooldown. Oh, free decoys. You really do get some nice benefits as you upgrade your, uh, your family, your Bergsons. In contending with the bandits, Adam and his group encountered the black substance again. It's nice that they give me a uh, preview of what the note entails. I should probably read the lore notes at some point, but at the same time, I also just want to like go and like murder things with my little girl here. Kitty bitty committee, welcome. How's it going? How are you doing? Annoying fight. I gotta kill this guy because he can summon. Okay, got you. Got you. That was not that bad. Linda launches an explosive crescendo when decoy health is reduced by 50%. That seems nice. You get a free, uh, pretty decent attack when that decoy is getting pummeled. I mean, okay, it's not gonna like, you know, tear the earth asunder with its damage output, but it'll help. Thank you, thank you for exploding, even just like once. You took my orb? You took my defensive orb, you son of a gun? I hate you. Hey Abe, you should play Noida. Oh yeah, you think? <laughs> the spoilers being that I played Noida. Snake's gonna get me. Snake, you can get me. Man, this tornado is still like kicking ass. It's lost its extended sucky powers, but it still is pretty good. I don't know if it just got better or if I'm just noticing it more. Uh, nearby enemies take damage when you attack. Create a totem that shoots. Gain the effect of, a, of an obelisk. Inflict lightning damage when a kill count combo is high. You just give me some stuff. Thank you. I don't know why you give me just a random gem on occasion. I mean, it's nice. I appreciate it. exploring for a moment. I guess, you know, we could buy an active item because we can hold two of them. But I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I don't know what to get. Oh, 
What was this one? Randomly shoots. You know what? Randomly shoots. <laughs> Have you heard about this game called Gungeon? Abe, hey, you should play Children of Morta. I think you would like it. Nah, I mean, I don't know, you know. <laughs> This game has been pretty good. I think I'm, I'm okay just playing this one for now. Why can I not add quotes? I gotta like look at the permissions for quoting system. Essentially you just have to be like VIP or subscribed or something I think. I need to, I need to take a look at it to figure it out. If Lespoff is not set up to do that, I think he should be able to do that, but I just gotta, I just gotta, you know, go look at the settings one of these days and, and adjust it accordingly. It's on me! Are you stuck in the wall? I think you're stuck in the wall. I guess the thing with the tornado is that sometimes it's just wrong. <laughs> it just goes in the wrong direction. There's not much you can do about it, I guess. Really? I don't have my orbs up? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah! It seems like sometimes her attack gets reset to its lowest level. I don't know what causes that. I don't, I don't even know if it's actually a thing. I might just be like thinking I see it when I actually don't. But it does seem like sometimes her attack rate gets reset back down to low. I don't know why. You know, this totem is actually gonna be very good with the decoy, I think. Being able to keep the enemies inside of its range. It lasts for a long time, too. Okay, I have four gems, I will spend one. Stop shooting. My attacks are much better than yours, you can't hit me. It's like nothing to kill. <laughs> it's like, where'd all the enemies go? And sometimes you just, you, you know, you get those good tornadoes that actually do a good job. Tornado is very uh, hit or miss, it feels. I don't mind it, I don't mind it. Might think I mind it, I don't mind it. Give me a second. Oh, the totem was so helpful. Helped me do so much more damage. Bronx Bomber says, you should play Gunfire Reborn. Yeah, I know. Um, when does it come out of early access? Fall 2021. If it comes out of access, then I might want to give it a shot. Oh, I got, I got, I got stuck, and my attack can't attack when I'm too close to a wall. Seems like a bit of an oversight. Just saying. That was a complete rage waste. Rage in this game just seems so garbage. Never, se never seems to be as like efficient or productive as you would like. No, 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 no! Why can I not move? Well, I mean, I know I got stuck, but like before that, I like hit a wall, I think. And I don't mean one of these walls that come up out of the ground. I think I just hit the wall. Mm, it's okay. Again, there's there's health around. We'll be fine. We'll live. We'll live. I do find it amusing that like, I don't know if it's Lucy or if it's this area, but like you very frequently f travel away from the bodies and then you come back to them like two seconds later and it's like, oh hey, all of these corruptions coming out of the corpses. That's a lot of corruption.
Get out of here, snake. You did more damage to me than like anything. Okay, level up, beautiful. Critical hits summon cyclones with a 50% chance. That's actually a really good chance, and I think this is gonna improve our efficiency like quite drastically, especially when you consider that, I, I don't know if this affects the critical hits of the Sidewinders, but if it does, that's amazing, hold on. It just says criticals. It might even work on like tornadoes. I think I saw a tornado in there, I don't know, a small tornado. Did he explode? I don't even, I don't think that was my ability. I think he just exploded. No, maybe it doesn't, maybe it has to be primary attack. Regardless, here's hoping for a uh, good value out of free Cyclones. Definitely gonna save that. Uh... Hi guys, I've already dealt with you. We're definitely gonna save that uh, uh, obelisk for when we leave. Cries for reprieve were met with only one word. We haven't done this March. before. Maybe, maybe we did the one with the uh, them pulling the rock or something. I don't know. I don't remember. This does seem worthy of rage, though. Are they dead? They dead. Hi, guys. Cyclone pulls enemies in. You love to see it. Melee companion fighting at your side. You love to see it. And a toy. This stone, oh, another stone. Vibrations radiated. Wave after wave washed over the hero, releasing the tension from every muscle. Aha, a piece of the wine machine, I see. <laughs> I think it's a piece of the wine machine. Gonna have to go back and say hi to Uncle Ben later. Uncle Ben! Hey, you old drunk. Make yourself useful, make some wine. Dude, I love having familiars. I imagine we're gonna fight a boss, so if we fight a boss and we have a familiar helping us out, I've got good, high hopes of success. I think we're done too. Yeah, we've done everything. There is, uh, oh, we have eight freaking gems? Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely gonna go up here and just like open this. Even if it is just like 500 gold, it's still pretty decent. We'll get all of this and we'll leave. We're ready to go. Oh, I got hit by the trap. That's what it was. Me being an idiot. Pardon me, excuse me. All right, got him. I don't know why I hung around to attack him, like thinking they would give me something. Okay, so we're gonna go and buy some items. Oh, hello. But first, grab this obelisk. Teleport out of here. Go buy whatever items we can from the shop, even if they are trash. Take damage when you're attacked. Gain the effect of a random obelisk. Inflict lightning damage when the kill counter is high. I'm gonna buy this and this. And that's good enough. Just in case we run out of this obelisk benefit, we can just get another one by using our charm. We're good. The tree of prosperity is withered after twisting away from Rhea's will. It's an evil tree. <laughs> All right. I will try to attack the evil tree. 
seem pretty good. Am I getting hit from something? Something is trying to hit me. And the tree is currently being protected, it looks like. The, uh, the totem isn't doing anything. I hate to say it, but I think that uh, Lucy here seems pretty good against Evil Tree. So there is stuff coming up out of the ground trying to hit me, but the uh, the protective shields I have, they're doing a pretty good job of, of keeping me safe. I don't know why the totem can't hit anything. The totem seems to just be unable to, to do damage to the, uh, to anything. I guess it, it's trying to hit the boss, but the boss can't get hit because of the, the roots in the ground or whatever it is. This seems like a, oh, you pulled me in. This does seem like an easy fight though, at least so far. He pulls you in, but then you can just dash out of it if, uh, if you can. Let's enter rage mode. Kill the branches. Kill him! Kill him! And then he becomes vulnerable. And we're out. <laughs> we're out of power. <laughs> You're powering down. Ah, that was so easy. Splintered and left behind the seed that the Bergsons were looking for. And a parchment. No time to waste. Mary was waiting. End scene. We took 456 damage. Or healed that much. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And a lot of that is the, uh, the fact that we have these orbs that protect us from a couple of hits. Now that we've leveled them up. It's nice. A sip of the potion was enough for Mary to open her eyes and for John to exhale with relief. Unbidden, pain shot up Mary's spine and filled her eyes. Something other than her illness. The baby was coming. It was time. The air was suddenly still. Mary's sickness had made them forget that the ravenous mountain god was after their baby. Curses. Altar had come alive with an ominous will. Even Rhea's light couldn't keep it at bay, couldn't delay the evil of the sacrifice forced upon them. When John held her for the very first time, she was crying the song of life. Life was all that went through her father's mind. How he wished that he could give his own life instead of his baby's. But his life was worthless to the cruel god. Mary burst into tears. She feared that John was going to give up their baby to save the world. A world that at this moment was worth nothing at all to her. What chance did the Bergsons have against this monstrous cruelty of an immortal god? What a rotten fate that had doomed them to this destiny. How could John accept this heinous cycle of looming apocalypse and child sacrifice? His whole body shook from the conflict inside him. Every glance from his family was like a mortal wound to his heart. Would they let hope die this day?
This could not be the end. No. Grandma had already sacrificed herself for them. There would be no more sacrifices. Together, they were going to break that cycle and defeat unjust fate. And the look in their eyes became one of resolve. For life, for hope. Would their decision bring even more of the mountain gods' corrupted wrath upon them? They worried together, but each time they looked at hope and saw her smile, resolve and belief in a better future would ease their worry. I think it would have actually been very interesting to see where the story could have gone if they had made the sacrifice. Because, like, the storytelling in this game is, is very well done, but the story itself is... It doesn't seem all that original, you know, corruption spreading, you know, you gotta end the corruption and, you know, say no to the evil for once and for all. But, like, it, they, they even were talking about it earlier in, in the story that this is a cycle that's happened over and over again over the generations of this god awakening and having to have a human sacrifice in order to, order to appease it. They said it in this cutscene, too, a heinous cycle. That could tie in really interestingly to a roguelite where you have to play it multiple times. You know, you could have some sort of of a mechanic kind of built in there. I think it would have been very interesting. Instead, it, it's going for a little bit of of the, <laughs> they're the... Veridi says, they're named the Bergsons. They're the epitome of bland. It is going for a very vanilla story, which is still fine. It's told very well. But I think it could have been a lot more interesting had the sacrifice actually have been made there. And then maybe in the future we have to like atone for that by breaking the cycle or something. But either in either case, we have some upgrades to purchase. We're going to get active item reduction. Two levels of that would actually be kind of interesting. But instead, let's go for... Let's go for... Ooh, critical damage up. That's like extremely cheap. We still have one locked ability, um, but let's spend the points on dodge, damage. Can I spend any of it here? No, I don't think so. Well, we'll hold on to the rest of this cash then. In any case, take a look real quick. Sharpened weapons is unlocked, I already did it. Um, thank you very much for watching. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching that, I mean. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Children of Morta.